Hello and welcome. My name is Starik and this is Enter the Gungeon. I was trying or yeah, let's let's start again. So <laughs> um I usually do turn-based strategy games, so I would like to branch out a little bit and try some different stuff. And I really like this game. It's been out for a few days now. For everyone that knows The Binding of Isaac, it's fairly similar. Apparently it's a mix between Isaac and um, Nuclear Throne, another type of game, or of this type of game. I never played Nuclear Throne, but I did play a little bit of Binding of Isaac, even though I never got really good in that game. But I'm, I'm terrible at Gungeon as well, but I would like to change that. And have fun doing so, so why not record myself doing it? <laughs> and for the Let's Play, I am going to use a different save file, just so that everything is in there. So let's use save slot C. Yes, I would like to do that. And then let's play. So we've got four classes. All have their pass of have starting items that are pretty different, so they play fairly different. They've got passive items as well, which um, so it's not only their weapons and stuff that is different. So for the start, let's just go with the marine. I think we need to do the tutorial anyways, but that is fine. So I can show you the um, how Gungeon is played. And I hope that I will be able to form coherent sentences <laughs> while playing this game. It's a little bit more action-packed than I'm used to with my other games. Uh, I hope the sound is okay. So we were supposed to approach, press E, for it is him, Sir Manuel. Har de har har. Uh, heed my words and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. And before we do that, I need to start a timer because I want to just have a general idea how long we're going. Okay, so let's start. So one of the first things we can do is flip tables to create cover for ourselves. And there's also items that give you buffs when you uh, when you flip tables, and you can also flip these barrels. So this is the most important lesson, and yes, that is true. Uh, by right-clicking, we can dodge roll in any direction, and we are invulnerable f during the first half of the dodge roll. So we've got invulnerable iframes invulnerable frames so uh, but we're vulnerable again once we hit the floor so we can dodge through bullets and other hazards but it requires timing so let's just do that yes we can go ready and go so it's pretty basic here right now we can just dodge through this uh, nothing too hard Okay, we can also jump over pits with a dodge roll. And this is a little bit longer, so we need to time it well, but it's not too bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to talk with him first. Okay, the dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying in a gunfight. Sometimes, though, the numbers of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. Um, these are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in a room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. They will also push nearby enemies away. Great if you need to need a second to reposition. Pick them up uh, by walking over them. So let's do that. And then we have to press Q and that does this. So that's pretty... It's the a, it's a last resort button basically you can hit to not get hit. 
Blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. So you get two blanks every floor for free, but up to two and not additional two. Um, and we can also find or buy them. So now we will should get our weapon, I think. So we've got the basics down. So we've earned our reward. A gun befitting our stature and experience. Must be pretty nice. Nope. We've got a pea shooter. Baby's first gun. So we can reload with R. We just have to aim with the mouse and left click to shoot. Yes, I would like to. And goodbye. Yes, cold blooded, truly, we are ruthless. <laughs> the next room. Uh, the next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies in each room and the doors will open. Um, yep, so let's reload and keep moving. And as you can see, it's these are it's the basic enemies, they're not really that hard. And this is the currency, bullet casings, which we can use at a shop to buy items. Not during the tutorial, but when we enter the gungeon for real, of course. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a stronger enemy, but still not too bad. Yes, we know how to dodge row, shoot and use blanks, so there's no more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. Oh, yep. So we get a med kit. Pick it up by approaching it and hitting the E button. So let's do that. So we don't need to use it because we're full on health, but with the space button we can use active items. So there's our active item, and with space we could use it. So that's a teleporter. Whenever we find one, you can always return there as long as you aren't in combat. So we don't need to backtrack. We can just... Uh, we can just... Okay, so in case you didn't notice, I had to pause pretty quick here, so let's try that again. So to use the teleporter, we need to open the map by holding tab, then click the uh, revolver symbol you wish to warp to, or the teleporter symbol. So we've got it, and let's do this. So this is our map, and then we can teleport onto this. Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just ones in the same room, but they won't work if you are in combat. If you press E while standing on that portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore, try to find a better gun before you challenge the boss. So let's see if we can do that. These are grenades, and they are basically just suicide bombers. Well, <laughs> that sounded worse than they are. Well, it's a pretty accurate description, but still. Okay. And this is basically how the game handles bigger rooms, or sometimes uh, or smaller rooms as well. So that you're not overwhelmed with enemies, you've got one or two or maybe even three waves of enemies that spawn in um, gradually as you kill them. And as I've said, I'm pretty bad at the game. I can't even kill the first floor boss reliably at the moment, or there's more than one boss. So, you will see me die a lot, <laughs> but I really like this game and I hope to get better, and why not have some fun? So here's our boss, but we want to try and find a better weapon first. And this red axe just means that we can't access the room from this side, but there's another entrance we can exit it through. And we are moving there uh, at the moment. And that's usually the standard for item rooms. There's an entrance and an exit, and you can only use one of the uh, one of the entrances basically in the beginning. So let's see if you have two or more guns. Hold Control to slow time and pick the one you want, and use Control to switch guns. So we can open this. And then we've got an AK-47, except no substitutes. And that's on the lower right right now. So with control, we can switch here, or we can just, just the mouse scroll. So let's go with our AK-47. It's one of the more standard guns. They usually don't get that basic. There's a lot of 
references and crazy stuff uh, in here. There's over one or over 200 guns, I think, in total. So speak with me when you're ready for your final challenge. Wah. Are you ready to pull all you have learned to the test? Yes, let's do this. Then face me in single combat. We will do that. So he's our boss, basically. And let's see. So the good thing about the AK-47, for one, it's really fast on the re uh, on shooting and pretty accurate. And it deals an okay amount of damage, so that was pretty easy. And we unlock the pea shooter as a weapon, and that's basically it. So ceasefire. We have bested him, the great Manuel. <laughs> And that's the tutorial. So that's fairly basic. Um, let's go into the gungeon. There's not much. This is basically the hub world um, where we can unlock stuff uh, while playing. And now they should let me through. Uh, they would have blocked this before if I hadn't played the tutorial. And. Let's go in, and then I can show you what makes the Marine special, basically. So, I don't know how many chambers there are, I assume six, but I don't know. And this is the first one. A shrine to an old gunslinger, there is an inscription. Kill your past, you've already damned your future, the rest is worn away. So we can do nothing here. And this is the so-called Ammonomicon. Which basically is a, a wiki for all the weapons and the games, all the items, enemies and bosses that we have encountered or unlocked. So it's different from the tutorial. Every class starts with a weapon that has infinite ammo. In the case of the Marine, that weapon is the Marine Sidearm. It's a semi-automatic weapon with infinite walls, um, with infinite ammo. Then we've got an active item, where we can call in an ammo drop uh, for a better weapon, but that is a one-time use only item. And the last item is a passive one, military training, hold facing enemy. So our reload speed and weapon accuracy is increased in general, uh, independent of the weapon. Then we've also got one key to open chests, two blanks, three hit points, and one armor, which is also specific to the marine um, as a starting uh, point. You can f find armor regardless, but the marine starts with one. Okay, these birds are a little bit more annoying and books as well, but if I can kill them before they do anything, I won't complain. So let's see. Oh, hello. Ow. That uh, was a nice chain reaction there. And these blobs, you can all assume what they do, and you already see it. They split up, so we have to actually shoot them a lot of times. But over the smallest ones, we can just dodge roll, and they will die. Which is pretty handy, but you need to know that. Otherwise, they can chase you a little around a little bit. And you don't really want that. And, yeah, so here we've got more. These wizard types are a little bit more annoying as well. Their attacks are really... It's basically PlayStation controller icons. So we've got a triangle, a square, a circle. Uh, I think an axe as well. <laughs> okay, there's our boss room, but we don't want to fight our boss with just our sidearm, if we can avoid it. And these... Ghost shells, I don't know how what else to call them, are really annoying because they've got an AK-47 or something fairly similar as well, and they shoot it non-stop. So I I'm really happy that we could that we could kill them without a problem. They shouldn't be a problem, of course, but they can always be. Um, depending on how much room you have to dodge out of the way and stuff like that. So well, let's see. And you can actually do something with this, but I don't want to yet, and that would be a pretty big spoiler, I think, so let's not do that yet. I, If I get the chance, I will do so in a, another episode at some point, and I will 
I will mention it before. So here we've got a chest and we have two keys so we can use that to unlock it. And what do we get? We get an escape rope. Works anywhere. Let's take a look at the Ammonomicon. It's an active item. And we can use this to escape from a sealed room. So if we're in a fight and want to get out of it, apparently, I don't think we need that, to be honest. It's not bad, but it's okay. The problem with these items are I could sell it if I knew where the shop was, but I don't. And there is a rat that comes in and steals items that are left on the floor. Everything except for health, uh, it takes and um, steals. So it will be gone if we get back there. But I would much rather keep the ammo drop, I think. Uh, that should be more valuable. Oh. Oh yeah, they can explode. Uh, they they're, don't necessarily need to explode, but they can. Oh, hello. So this is nice, but we need two keys, I think. Oh no, we need a cell key first. So this is a special lock where we need to find a key, um, a different kind of key to open it. And this is the nice teleporting mechanic. So we've got uh, pretty evenly divided or provided, whatever, uh, teleporters that we can just move along the map a lot more quickly than we would otherwise be able to. right away that's pretty nice and after they are done shooting they also just vanish for a moment and reposition themselves so let's take a look at our shop and see what we have available here so we got the AK-47 again which is surprising then we've got armor more armor and health and here we could also buy blanks and there will always be a teleporter inside the shop I don't think I've seen it I, I, I haven't seen a shop without one yet. What's a bit unfortunate is that we haven't found a weapon yet, but we usually have more than one chest on a floor. I think I've seen up to three or four, but maybe not on the first chamber. Uh, but I hope we will get a second chamber at least, or we will find the cell key so that we can get to that chest that is behind that cell door. Uh, yes, there it is. Nice. That's yeah, just another key. So the, uh, but we did get one here. So we've got blooper. Close your bloop. I have no idea what's that. What it, that is a reference to, to be honest. So we've got a weapon with extremely high knockback, a poor facsimile of the gun that can kill the past. Seeking an alternate route to the past to past modification, time travelers would use these guns to eliminate their past selves and take their place. Unfortunately, without the power of the true gun, this always resulted in ironic consequences. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so we've seen all the rooms, so we just have our boss room left. The knockback won't help us there. I assume it's a shotgun. Yep, looks like it, but that's fine. And let's see what we can do here. And we get Gatling Gull as our first boss. There are actually three bosses you can encounter on the first floor. He's luckily not the hardest, but I still tend to sometimes struggle with him at the moment. But it could have been worse. Rapid Fire Raptor Gatling Gun. And at least the blue gun is doing a lot of damage. And Gatling Gull is very nice with his attacks at the moment. He's doing stuff we can fairly dodge fairly easily. Uh, now things are getting a little bit more difficult. It's really easy to get uh, hit by him if you get too close because of his Gatling attack. But if I stay far enough away, I should be fine, I think. I'm doing actually better than I ever have. I just need to make sure that I don't screw up in the last minute here. Oh, hello. Yes, perfect! 
And this is actually really good for one. We, I killed him flawlessly, so I didn't take any damage, which unlocked a web, uh, uh, an active item for us. Then we've got an, this you always get, it's a hegemony or hegemony, I don't know, credit. Uh, that you can use out of the gungeon to unlock weapons and stuff. And also, if you kill an, a boss flawlessly, without taking any damage or losing armor, that you, you are not allowed to get hit. You get one of these, which is a permanent health upgrade. So it's Master Round, First Chamber, and now we have four hit points. And it's one of the very few ways you can actually get... Uh, a health upgrade in this game. And here we've got the Hexagon. Light Fantastic. Is that a Super Hexagon reference? So we've got the Shield of the Maiden. Krent Transmogrify Foes. The Hexagon was created by a vengeful gun juror after his apprentices were slain by a gunjineer wielding the Humble Bundle of Wands. The Humble Bundle, yes. <laughs> the stock is formed for what was once his staff and each piece of metal was enchanted thrice before assembly. His revenge came swiftly and from, the, from a great distance. So that sounds like a sniper rifle. Oh yes, one shot, really high, but it looks like we don't actually get a cell key, which is a bit unfortunate. We can take the health upgrades, which is okay, and we don't want anything from our shop, so we can keep moving on. And so far, this is actually going really well. So now we're in Gungeon proper, Chamber 2. And the enemies get stronger, so every weapon we have found up until now gets worse and worse. This is still pretty good because it's a high damage weapon. Um, and of course the enemies do get harder the further we get. There will still be the normal enemies and I'm using the shotgun right now just because we can afford to and we've still got the ammo drop to refill its, uh, its ammunition. Uh, I just don't want to take too much time with the standard weapon uh, to kill everyone here. And I hope you, you like this game. Oh, I really hate the Iron Maidens. Their shots are pretty annoying because they home on you or they adjust. They, they go on you once. Yeah, you know what I mean. And we got hit there. So I got uh, stupid. Oh, I got hit again. And this guy is actually a problem. That's why it took so long. And that's an ammo drop, so we can just refill our ammo here. And we've already found our shop, so let's see what we have here. Uh, I don't know what this item does yet. I heard a rumor what it could be used for, but we can't afford it anyways. It's the Prime Primer. And then we can buy some stuff here. Um, crossbow, void core assault rifle. We That sh sounds really good and it's expensive, so I assume it's good. We don't have the casings for it yet, though, so we will have to come back later once we do. Oh, snipers. From every direction. That's nice. Hello. So let's see. We got it, but that's not all. And these vampire type enemies are actually okay, most of the- oh god, that was dumb. Okay, they do split up, but their small counterparts, whatever you want to call them, are one-shottable. And I did pick up the ammo, ammo right away again, because the rat will eat it anyways, if we move out of the room, or move a little further away. And these now- oh wow, that knockback is really strong, we didn't see that yet. Hello. I like that. So a head-on shot does a lot of damage. Hey, there's our PlayStation Wizards. Let's see. And I think the game is available for PlayStation as well. <laughs> I'm of course playing on a PC at the moment. And it's got controller support, but I can play this game a lot better with mouse and keyboard. And I'm still horrible. And this is the Transmogrify, by the way. If we don't kill it, we have a chance of just um, transmogrifying it into a chicken that we can step on. Looks a bit macabre, it is, but it's it's a video game. 
and so far so good. And there are a lot of weapons in this game and they're really funny and interesting uh, among those. You've got the standard stuff like just pistols and stuff like um, the crossbow or normal bow. So that's really nice. And I should remember to use the blanks if it's necessary. So this is a bit of a more interesting room with a saw blade in there. But nothing too major, we can just run around that and not have to worry about it too much. These blue shells, or whatever we should call them, bullets, uh, usually speed up and hit you head on. Um, so you should try to take them out before they can get to you. And this will be an item room. It's just the standard layout here. And we get the Winchester rifle. Let's take a look. So the Winchester Rifle was used to famous effect by Freifel during his first adventures with the Grey Mauser. It might be a bit dated, but it still packs quite the punch. And this is the first NPC, or first two NPCs we can rescue. We need a Salkia for that. But we need to rescue them because they run the shop. Uh, outside of the gungeon, so we need to rescue them to unlock stuff. So let's try to find the cell key. Uh, I think it's a guarantee that it's on here now. This is another thing I haven't seen too much before. It's a shrine. There are a lot of different shrines. So a shrine to a forgotten bullet to lay down his arms, will you? So we can give up uh, a gun permanently for a health restore. Uh, we are okay on health right now. I might want to do that before the boss. Maybe we can get rid of something that's not too useful to us, but I don't know yet. And I don't know what to do here. It's I, I heard the rumor that you need the Prime Primer to do something here. You could then put it there and that would do something. I have no idea if that's, if that's true or not. I will find out at some point. <laughs> but not today. So let's see. Okay, it's fairly slow in shots, and it takes two shots to kill the standard enemy. So far, I'm not too impressed with the Winchester. I think it's more of a first chamber weapon than a second chamber one. Uh, but I might be wrong about that. So let's go back to Blooper, actually. I like this more. The knockback for one is really nice. Puts them further away from us, so we won't get shot as easily. And if we hit them right on... Oh, we killed both of them. Nice. Uh, we're better off than with the Winchester. Hello, grenades. We don't want to be near that thing. And that's another item room. Oh, that's a passive item. So we got bouncy bullets. Boing. <laughs> and that's just an ammunition modificator, basically. So all of our bullets gain ricochet. A talented gunslinger can bounce bullets with certain guns, but this special ammunition makes it easy to do with any weapon. So that looks like this. They just bounce off walls and I think enemies as well. Okay, can we do anything? We are missing that room. Oh, I hate these uh, teleporting guys. Ow. Yep, so he hit us at the end of the dodge roll, unfortunately. Okay, I think I would like to go to the shop. And we will buy the Void Core Assault Rifle. Because I want to see what that can do. Let's see... Uh, rapid fire burst before the void core was disbanded by the hegemony of man they were in renowned throughout the sector for their feats on and off the battlefield following their dissolution the famed void core captain known as the thunderbolt made his way to the gungeon okay we don't have any more left to do something but i think we'll offer the winchester to get our fourth health refilled uh, refilled. Yep, so. I assume that it would 
fill us up completely. Um, so how does this look? Oh, that's pretty nice. It's got a lot of shots. I think we should try this. So the second floor boss. We get the Gorgon. She's the easiest of the second floor bosses, I think. A curse of gun witch, the Gorgon. Okay, it fires in short bursts. So this is poison, but if you if we roll out of it fast enough, and this is this is actually pretty bad. Yep, so we got hit there. Uh, with that wave attack she did there. If we get hit by that, um, we are petrified and can't shoot or reload. So let's actually do this. Oh god, I'm so stupid. Yep, I ran right into that. But the weapon is actually doing an okay amount of damage and we can stay further away from her. And we do have the blanks, so I don't mind using them right now. So let's just see. And as long as she keeps doing this, I'm pretty fine with it. We can just dodge roll. It's that attack I don't like, but I think we should just try to do this now. If we stay far enough away, it shouldn't be a problem. Hello? And I'm actually doing fairly okay. It's stupid that I got hit there in the beginning. I didn't really... it didn't really need it to happen, but it did. Okay, come on. A few more hits. Got her. Perfect. So we won't get the permanent health upgrade. Which is a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Yeah, we shouldn't get poisoned. Let's wait a moment. And we can actually shoot her one more time. So we're full health. And this is the Mega Man weapon. So we've got the Mega Hand. P. <laughs> I didn't... I haven't had this before, but I've seen it. The Mega Hand is a relic of the Ten Days War against the robots. The most powerful robot masters will modify it for their own styles of combat. But this one is basic, but it still works well. Yep, so... That is pretty nice. Let's try that out. But we didn't get a cell key again. Why? We should have gotten one. So we won't unlock the shop. It's not a problem. The hegemony is permanent, so we won't lose it if we don't spend it. But still. And I'm really amazed that I that we're down to the third floor already. I would have assumed that this episode would be a lot shorter because I would have died by now. But I didn't, so it's it's fine. <laughs> But still, I think this will be fairly short-lived now. Okay, I can actually... Oh, hello. Okay, so we can actually charge that up, as you could do in Mega Man, or at least some Mega Man games, to shoot one bigger shot. That's actually really cool. And you can't overload on it, apparently. Okay, so the Mega Man weapon is awesome, at least it seems to do a decent amount of damage. So let's try this again. And the length of these episodes will vary pretty drastically, I think, uh, depending on how well I do today. Uh, this is a pretty good run so far, um, but I assume there will be worse ones, and in that case the episodes will probably be a little bit shorter. I mean, I'm not dead yet, and I will try to keep him going as fast, uh, as far as we can, but it might come to an end soon, so this looks like it's a good spot to use a different weapon. Maybe we want to use a hexagon? Yep, that actually goes through the first enemy, so that's pretty nice. And we bounce. Oh, nice, we got a chest out of this. That's pretty rare, but it can happen. Okay, this is an active item, so I will actually take that now. Let's call in our ammo drop to refill our Mega Man weapon. And then we've got the decoy. So it's an active item we can use regularly, I think, to distract enemies. We'll, I'll, I'll show you in a moment. And the knockback here is really nice because we could push them into the lava. The other ones are flying, so we couldn't, but... But we still got him in one shot. Oh, hello. And this, there are different types of chests. And this is a big one, so it should have better loot. But I don't have a key, so we can't open it. 
Uh, there is actually a chance that if you shoot a chest, it could still give you the loot, but there's also the chance that you destroy the loot in there. So I'm not doing that because I'm hoping that we will either find a key or um, can buy one on the shop. That would be for the best. Hello. So here I want something a little bit more long range, I think. At least more long range than a snipe than the shotgun. But I like the bloop. It's pretty nice. Oh, come on. Yeah, we can go with this. And I won't uh, spare the ammo. We do have a lot of different weapons, so we might as well use them. Um, we could take damage otherwise, and I don't really want to risk that. Okay, so we've got all these. Let's go down there first. And we're almost out of ammo with this gun, as, uh, actually. So let's see, there are these types of uh, rooms. Um, sometimes as well, it's just a little bit of platforming. So here's our shop, and we actually have a key. So the snowballer, the little bomber, uh, let's buy the key. We already have that. And this is actually pretty cool, and I think I will just make use of it. Uh, because this is the great monster, whatever you want to call it. And we can drop items there, and it will give us money for it. But I need to look up the key binding for dropping a weapon. Um, drop gun is F. So we will drop this one. And we actually get 30 out of this. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, we don't need anything else yet, so let's keep moving. I don't know if I really had to sell it, but we can definitely use the money, I think. Um, and if we just to get more... Oh boy, that was dumb. More health or more ammo. Okay, another blank. Could be pretty useful. As long as I remember to use them, which is the biggest problem. And I've never done this well. I think I've never seen the Chamber 3 boss. So I was really concerned that playing and talking at the same time would be really hazardous to, to my uh, gameplay. Uh, but apparently it doesn't have the, the big of an impact as I assumed it would. So let's do the decoy. And I should use blanks. Uh, okay, we're gonna have ammo there. But I am taking a lot of damage right now, and that's not nice. But we should actually just open that chest now that I've caught, uh, got the, the key. So what did we get here? The Deckard, Unicorn of Handguns. <laughs> what? Fires massive explosive rounds following the tragic Ten Days War. A majority of the hegemony shock troops were decommissioned, a small number of them uh, of the combat robbers escaped, however, and they were pursued relentlessly by special forces. The explosive hand cannon belonged to one such detective who tracked his prey to the gungeon. We've only got two shots, but they should be really powerful. So let's try this out. Oh, and they explode. Yeah, if, if you hit with this weapon, it deals a lot of damage. Ah, that's really nice. Oh, oh, don't want to deal with you. If I can avoid it. Okay, so you've got some kind of... I don't know what happened there with that black rimmed bullet. Looked a little bit weird. We're actually getting a lot of... Um, a lot of bullet casing at the moment. Oh, nice! The ba the back the back bounce got it. <laughs> That's cool. Yep, this weapon is pretty nice. I don't know if it's good for bosses, just because we can't really make use of the explosion damage explosion damage too much. But aside from that, it's pretty nice. So we're going to use it for room clearing right now. 
let's see how far we can go. Oh god, yeah, I got blocked there by that table. That was dumb. Let's try this again. And I should probably go back to the shop and buy more health. Um, yeah, let's just refill this one. I like it. Um, just because there's our boss. Okay. I don't want to die beforehand, but let's do one or two more rooms. We do have the decoy ready, which should help. And we can use these cards as well. We don't really need to, but we can. Okay, let's go back to the shop. We can at least buy half a heart. Half a heart. Uh, that was not all those, so let's move up there and keep looking. And I know that the third floor bosses can be really tough. And I don't think I will live through it, but we will try. If I can, I, I will be amazed. <laughs> oh. Hello. Let's see. Oh, another half health. That's really good. Okay, I know what I could do here, but it would replace our active item and we don't really need that. You can use these rails and then dodge roll all the way up there and get an item up there, but I think it's always the same one. I don't know what it's used for, and I it would, it would replace our active item, so we'll, we'll not go there. And since we can't get another key or stuff like that, we will shoot this chest. And we got junk, so we destroyed the uh, item inside, unfortunately. Can I get anything useful out of the shop? Not too much, I think. So, only ammo or weapons, both of which we don't necessarily need. The question is, with which gun do I want to go for the boss? Probably the Mega Hand? Or let's go with the Deckard again, and let's try it. The damage is very decent. Oh, yeah, this is the... Oh, God, I forgot about what it was. The Cannonball Rock. Might actually maybe be the easiest one, but it's still really hard. And I have never actually fought against it before, but I've seen videos. Of it. Oh, boy. Yep, and we're getting hit, and we're getting hit a lot. That's our decoy. Maybe it can do something. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. This is not nice. Oh, boy, I hate this. And they bounce, so we have to worry about them more than once. But he is already down to half health. Oh, wow, the Decker destroys bullets, apparently. Uh, so enemy bullets, that is. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's fine. We, I got further than I assumed we would, so it's okay. Eh, that was a lot of fun, and I, I'm really happy that I mastered, actually, the first floor. Oh, we f flawless the boss there. So let's go back to the hub. We didn't unlock any NPCs, but hopefully we'll do so next time. So we've got three uh, credits right now. And next time we will play as one of the other classes. So that's it for this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Please let me know and give me feedback. I would really appreciate it because I'm trying some new stuff out here and I have no idea how it go uh, will go yet. So please let me know what you think of it and if you want to keep want me to keep going. Uh, yeah, so as always, thank you for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>